Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page for Tuesday, 30th April. I am Steve Walters. In our headlines, Bath Under 18 beats Spurs. And in our feature for this evening, an ISS in for a fiery baptism. We'll take this break and we'll be right back. for the photo shoot of the Mr. Cool participants and Miss Culture Swimwear contestants. Every year it's been a bit hectic, but we love what we do. Uh, I think this is the sixth or seventh year, if I'm not mistaken, that I've been doing this, so I've been honored to do this for quite some time. Next goes. This year we actually have a dozen, so we have six beautiful ladies and six charming young men both um, competing for the Mr. Cool title and Miss Culture Swimwear title. We are here at the breathtaking Paradise Beach Resort. I definitely want to thank the staff um, for accommodating us today. It's been truly wonderful. Well, I'm back and we begin with football. Here are some results from SKNFA weekend matches Friday 26th April 2019 at the Keith Gums Under-18 Youth League held at the Gardens playing field Spurs 1 Bath United 2. Scoring for Bath Digel Myers in the 18th minute Jaden Myers 50, 54th minute scoring for Spurs. Jabaz White, 70th minute, yellow card. Jason Jeffers, Spurs, in the 90th minute. The officials were Reginald Gomes, Karim Benjamin, and Delroy Jeffers. On Saturday, 27 April 2019, Premier Division Easter Cup Finals. Rams Village Superstars, 4. Fast Cash Saddlers, 0. Scoring for Village, Tyron Hanley, two goals in the 7th and 66th minute. Kareem Rogers, 55th minute. Guavan Amri, 79th minute. Yellow Cards, Tristan Hanley, Saddlers, 32nd minute. Fernando Williams, Saddlers, 45th and 71st minute. Orlando Feminine, Village, 61st minute, Trevor Hanley, Saddlers, 81st minute. Red card, Fernando Williams, Saddlers, 71st minute. The officials were David Phipps, Mario Parry, Jason Rouse, and Sanchez Bass. Technical committee, Malcolm Ramsey, Derek Fifield, and Kevin Garrett. We'll take this break and I'll be right back with our feature for this evening. I'm back and tonight we feature basketball. The Nevis International Secondary School was in for fiery baptism as the Inter High School's basketball tournament continued on Monday 29th April at the Grell Hall Stevens Netball Complex. The school was making its debut appearance in the tourism and received a fiery baptism 
at the hands of the more experienced Charleston Secondary School team. The tale of the tape literally tells a story. At the end of the first quarter, the scoreline was CSS 25, NISS 0. The NISS, however, commenced the second quarter in promising fashion, sinking their first historic hoop and two points and shortly thereafter sunk another, much to the joy of their supporters. However, CSS team then took over the quarter and by halftime, the scoreline was 47 to 6 in favor of CSS. So confident, coach Jeffrey Lewis from the CSS team that at inter intervals, he subbed the entire five players and replaced them with another five on the court. By the end of the third quarter, CSS had progressed to 71 with Anna SS on 18. The final chapter was totally dominated by CSS, with the players clearly motivated to get to the century mark, and so they, so they did, adding another 38 points without a whisper from the NISS team. The final score was instructive, CSS 109 and NISS 18. The action continues on Wednesday, 2nd May, when NISS comes up against defending champions GSS and would be hoping for better fortunes this time around. Let's take in some of the action. Let me join you, game number two, with the CSS team scoring two more points. Game number two, Davis International, the other game coming up against the Charleston Secondary School team. We'll have to get the scores. The CSS is getting the ball once more. Goes for the left handed shot. Fails to convert. And uh, they spin around here, but the steal for the chance down team. And uh, passes off now. He goes up and uh, sinks it. So CSS seems to be running rampage over the NISS team here. Passes off now and another steal attempt. It just goes on the circuit and keeps it in. CSS comes away with it once more and uh, well taken away by well NISS to the hoop goes up knocks it into the board can't convert and the face convert and that gives him passes up long pass now he goes up and doesn't sink it rebound taken doesn't sink it rebound taken again doesn't sink it and uh, comes away with it now NISS going down court passes he gets it Thinks about the shot, passes off, and he doesn't hold on to it. He finally does pass it off. Once more. Number two goes for the long shot. Here he goes now. CSS doing a solo run, passes off now. He goes for the long shot, knocks it back, but he gets a rebound. Goes up for the hoop and misses. Back with CSS. Now it's going to be the NASS throwing. Nicely intercepted, but um, yes, he has kept it in. He goes for the three-pointer attempted. For one moment, he thought NASS was going to shoot in his own hoop, but he passed it off. And uh, that's the whistle. Oh, that was a hard pass. Yes, this comes away with it and goes up and doesn't sink it. And uh, the rebound not taken by the NS uh, player goes for the shot, gets it the rebound. And uh, taken away now by CSS, back with the ball. He moves nicely and Sabro call. A little bit of dynamism in terms of the movements, but um, not following the basic rules. Traveling with the ball. Not a big crowd in by any means. You'll have more of a crowd for the CSS. And well, he's open. Can we get some more points for NISS? He loses it though. And again, he's working his way through. He's working his way through. Passes off. Gets it across to number four. Shoot is the call. It's the rim. No good. The rebound taken by NISS. He's making some movements. Too much maybe. Loses it. Back with CSS. Goes up for the hoop. Doesn't take a nice there by young 
Gilbert and here goes up three go six to rim no good gets the rebound goes up six it well it looks as if it's gonna be NAS's quarter after all so after an entire quarter without scoring they have two more on the tins 25 to 4 suddenly we have a game on here folks CSS gets the pass in he goes up now doesn't sink it gets the rebound back with NASS once more too much I thought he was doing and then sinking up the long haul hits the rim goes up for the rebound and it seems as if with the third quarter just starting it's 49 now they ended the first half on 47 to 6 49 to 6 now CSS gets the ball once more, goes up and puts in two more. So it's 51 now. They have started off very rapidly now in this third quarter. Seems as if they really want to make a big score and uh, misses that one. They're not very quick to the rebounds either. Well, whistle goes, travel call. So 51 to 6 is the score. 51 to 6. Uh, NASS can they get back into this game they are on Debo they will forever remember this well pressure the man is the call he does pressure the man to the point that he takes the ball away from him too so 51 to 6 he's going to try for the left hand in shot of it misses number one he's going to show him how to do it no he also hits the rim no good but the man who does it, um, we'll have to get the number, number 15, shows him how it's done, makes a turn and just swings it in. So 53 to 53 to 6. Now he has a chance. Oh, that's a weak attempt at a shot. That's another attempted shot misses. And the CSS passing up here nicely. And sinks two more, make that 55. So NISS in for five baptism here. Oh, take it away once more. CSS. Make it as possible. Maybe foul call. So more woes for the NISS team. It says it's going to the front line. Flying in the air, picking it up nicely, over now to number 15, it's a rim, no good, taken off him by CSS, taken, finally we get a steal now, and that's Amadi, it goes for the big one, my goodness, that's a willful ball, it was in and out, CSS, that's a movement, almost lost it, but he didn't, he goes up number 5 and sinks two more, I've lost count, CSS large and in charge here at the Greenland Stevens Depot Complex. Goes up and sinks two more off the hoop, off the board. So when it rings all around, the well, pass is pretty much straight to the CSS player. Knocks him over. No whistle. Fails to convert. Comes away, passes off now to number six. A little bit of a dizzle dazzle. And looks like he looks like he has a bit of a laugh. Tried too many things. He was once more. CSS. Off the hand of the NSS black. CSS open, doesn't sink it, the rebound isn't taken either, gets another one there Keynes, doesn't sink it, 14 passes, well, clean over there, actually just taking shots, oh that's as awful as it get, hits the board no good, and uh, maybe making a bit of fun out of each other, he's going to take it easy. 
actually CSS and SS player didn't really move. Doesn't sink it to the disappointment and now he sinks too. So they wanted the little man down there to get it. And uh, there's a substitution. Byron comes on. Taken out of the hand of Elijah and goes up after going no but falls over but he made sure that he didn't hit the back of his head. Thanks two more. So two more there. So NISS. Some excitement for the team. Scoring another two points. Passes over to his coach actually. He would be disappointed with that very much. Gonna try for the big haul. Tries for the long haul. Fails. Him to score so badly, he wants to score too. They give him, they give him the ball again. He fails. They're trying very hard to get him to score, but he's just, he's just not converted. They give him the ball again. He scores right over the hoop once more. Barry is the call, and that's the game. With Barry failing to convert the many tries that they gave him. So he was very disappointed with that, but that ends the game. And. Uh, not a very successful first outing for the NISS, but they look back at this game and say, well, it was our first outing, and we can only do better next time around. Well, we wish the NISS team a much better showing in their next game. That's our package for this evening. I am Steve Walters, reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit, but to play sports, you are required fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.